So let me discuss the other disease modifying anti rheumatic drug that is a synthetic DMAT which is nothing but sulfur salazine. All right, sulfur salazine. Now let me tell you one important point this particular sulfur salazine this is metabolized to sulfur pyridine and as well as phi amino salicylic acid right this is metabolized to sulfur pyridine and as well as phi amino salicylic acid all right now you take this particular sulfur pyridine this sulfur pyridine it is an active moiety right this is an active moiety which is used in the patients with the rheumatoid arthritis all right this is an active moiety which is used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis but you take this fire amino salicylic acid this is used in the treatment of ulcerative colitis right this is used in the treatment of ulcerative colitis now now when do we use this particular the sulfur salazine remember we use this sulfur salazine in those group of patients where methotrexate is contraindicated so remember this point so wherever the methotrexate is contraindicated there we use this particular sulfur salazine next so these are few points about your sulfur salazine next let me take up the another synthetic dmad which is leflunamide right let me tell you another synthetic dmad that is leflunamide remember this particular leflunamide this is a prodrug right this leflunamide it is a prodrug this leflunamide it has to be converted into an active metabolite so this is converted to an active metabolite now what does this active metabolite does remember this particular active metabolite it will inhibit the enzyme dihydroorotate dehydrogenase right they will inhibit an enzyme which is called dihydro orotate dehydrogenase right it will inhibit the enzyme dihydro orotate dehydrogenase now what is this enzyme useful for remember this particular enzyme dihydro orotate dehydrogenase this is a very important enzyme for pyrimidine synthesis all right this is a very important enzyme in case of the pyrimidine synthesis now what is this pyrimidine synthesis required for this pyrimidine synthesis this is required for the growth of the b cells for the growth of the b cells now what did we talk in the introduction what are the group of cells which play an important role in the pathophysiology of rheumatoid arthritis remember it is your b cells which will generate the plasma cells which will generate the auto antibodies that will act against the joint so b cells are the one which play an important pathophysiological role in the development of your rheumatoid arthritis so whenever you are giving leflunamide this is a prodrug this has to be converted into an active metabolite and this will inhibit an enzyme which is called as dihydro orotate dehydrogenase and what is this enzyme required for this enzyme it is required for pyrimidine synthesis and this pyrimidine synthesis is very much important for the growth of the b cells so when you are inhibiting this particular dihydro orotate dehydrogenase pyrimidine synthesis does not occur and thereby the growth of the b cells will not occur now now whenever you are giving this particular leflunamide there is a very great chance that the individual can develop the leflunamide toxicity so along with leflunamide right along with leflunamide if you give 
cholesteramine right if you give this particular cholesteramine this cholesteramine will decrease the toxicity right this cholesteramine will decrease the toxicity of this leflunamide by increasing its clearance right by increasing its clearance so what does this cholesteramine do cholesteramine will decrease the toxicity of leflunamide by increasing its clearance right this is a very important point you should remember now let me tell you your leflunamide you compare all the synthetic dmards like what i have discussed for the dmards to have their action to be started it takes nearly around 6 weeks to 6 months now among all your the synthetic dmards the leflunamide it is the fast acting right remember this point this is the fast acting drug in the sense the action of these drug will manifest within 4 weeks Right, the action of this particular drug will start within four, four weeks. And remember, this particular leflunamide, it can be used as an alternative to methotrexate. Right, this can be used as an alternative to methotrexate. So, these are some of the points about your leflunamide.